today, the first nice day, I can actually cut the grass. And I got my Glomo hopper back out and all of a sudden decided not to work. going, the motor's going, but it's not spinning the blade. So we're going to have a look and see how to repair this. So I'm going to disconnect it first. There we go. So the first thing we need to do is to remove the bolt. And they do come with a special spanner, but this was second hand. We've got to make do with what we got. I'm just going to loosen the bolt, and then the blade should come free. We've got the blade, We've got the spacers. And then that will just pull out and instantly we can see our problem. The fan has come off. It's not looking the best of condition. But we'll carry on and replace this. So we need to do these four screws. I'm just taking off these four screws. We've taken out and we also have another one in here. And we can turn it upside down. And the fillet screwdriver. We undo two of these. Just here and here. And then the lid should come off. Not quite sure how, but the motor does come out. And then we can see. So I'm just. So the roller's a bit tight. 
So it's a bit tight. So I'm just adjusting these screws. Now we can push the motor back. We can put on our fan. And then we push this back and we can tighten up the bolts. So we're all nice and tight. So it goes back into its case. It's back in its slot. The wires go back in the correct place. And we can screw the top case back on again. And then we go back underneath. And we can screw the motor back in place with these four screws. We can put the last bolt on the bottom. And then Then we have the cover back on again with our spaces, making sure the points on the top. Have the blade and it says this side to grass. Fill it with the two little flips so they slot in. Add the blade, add the bolt,
give it a tighten up. And then we're all set to try. Basket back in, clip the top back in, and we're ready to go. Plug it back in.